Hey guys, this is the Cognitive Pit. Andrew, Matt, and Bo. And uh, basically, we're just gonna do a a little Captain America review. So, Andrew, why don't you give a brief summary about uh, Captain America? No spoilers. All right, sure. I saw the movie, so um, yeah, it's about a guy named Steve Rogers, and um. Well, first I should probably say this takes place in, like, 1940s, right? Yeah, probably during World <laughs> War II, I would assume. Yeah, World, Sometime World, in there. World War II. Um, and Steve Rogers is this guy who re he's really patriotic, and, uh, and he, but he's, uh, he's like me. So he's, he's pretty much useless and a wimp. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Um, he could probably give a nice summary of a movie, though. Keep going. I bet he could. <laughs> but, um, so he, he pretty much just bullied all his life. So when he sees these Nazis who are bullying the countries, the Jews. He, okay, it's not all they did. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, he's basically saying, I'm, uh, I don't stand for that because I've had some experience with bullies. Um, so he basically goes around, tries to get in the army, and he can't because his body is broken in every way possible. Um, but not literally. He's, yeah. just, we're, he just, he's just short and kind of weak. Yeah. Um, so, but this one scientist, uh, played by Stanley Tucci, he, he, hear, he overhears uh, Steve uh, talking about this with his friend Bucky, and he says, well, this guy's got heart. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recruit him for this program we got going in the government. And before you know it, Steve is injected with... Super steroids. Super serum. And he becomes <laughs> the man. Yeah, he um, becomes kind of strong. It's Captain America. So, um, that's pretty much what happens. Then he goes, fights... He actually doesn't fight any Nazis, if I recall correctly. Yeah, well, there's... <laughs> his, meanwhile, on the other side of things, there's, a uh, um, the Red Skull, played by Hugo Weaving. And he is, he is the leader of the science <laughs> research division of... Uh, it's called Hydra, of the Nazis. And he basically says, screw Hitler, I'm the man. I'm gonna take over everything. I'm the man. Um, Sorry, keep going. And so <laughs> that wasn't Red Skull's man. <laughs> he becomes he he gets his ultimate power source, and basically becomes a huge threat. And Captain America is on the collision course to stopping it. Yeah. So um, let's talk about our our thoughts about what we how we thought the movie played out, um, our opinions of it. I guess I'll go first. Um, I thought it was pretty good. You're asking, you're looking at me. Matt. Yeah, uh, alright, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, there was a lot of action. I would have liked to see more Nazi killing instead of just Hydra killing. But, um, I mean, what can you do when you have to have a plot? I mean, you kind of have to make the movie make sense. So, it was really good. There was a lot of action. I thought it was one of the better Marvel movies that came out. Um, behind Iron Man and everything else is kind of rough after that. But Thor was terrible. Okay, thank you for that. We'll do another one on that. Anyway, that, that's my general review of what I thought Captain America was. I thought it was awesome. Um, everyone needs to see it, pretty much, especially before The Avengers comes out. Um, go I guess, Bo. Yeah, I guess I'll give my opinion now. Uh, like Ryan, uh, like I can fit. Uh, I also really like How the dare movie. You. <laughs> I really like the movie. Uh, I really like the character Steve Rogers. I really like the development that went through it. Uh, went through the movie, his growth into being Captain America and the hero that he was. I thought it was a great movie. The action was awesome and got better and better as the movie got on. So, yeah, I just thought it was great and everyone should see it. Uh, Matt, why don't Matt, you go? Yeah. To mix things up. Uh, I thought that Captain America was one of the lesser superhero movies I've seen. It was definitely a good Marvel movie. Um, Oof! My Big words. My favorite superhero movie is Batman. Um, well, those are entirely... Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna cut this. Stop. No, which is... S Captain America. What was wrong with Captain America? <laughs> I, the, no, no, nothing was wrong with... This is one of the it's not you, it's me situations. I went into Captain America judging it from, this, from the viewpoint of Batman and from that standard, and I, I it disappointed because it wasn't gritty enough. I thought it should have been more like Saving Private Ryan or something like that. Uh, but for a comic book movie, I thought it was pretty good. It was, uh, it was very comic-y, if that's a word. See, Matt, I, I was similar to you before I saw the movie. I was even telling Cognitive Pitt. I said I wanted, like, a man on a mission, uh, uh, 
what's the movie I'm thinking of? Well, a, a very gritty man on a mission, like behind enemy lines, war exactly. movie. And but then no, I saw really the quick, trailer. Really quick. Do you mean behind enemy lines as a genre or as, a genre. as the movie? No. Okay, just yeah. clearing it up. Then I saw the trailer and I saw the super saturated colors and the, I mean, basically the pipe, like the stylized look of it, and I was like, well, it's not going to be that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I quickly abandoned that. But um, anyway, I really like the movie. I really like because the one thing I was worried about was there's something inherently silly about a guy named Captain America and wearing yeah. an American flag. And I thought the way they adjusted in the story to explain, to explain that, I thought was really well and really smooth, and a really clever way of the things. I mean, you'll see if you see the movie. There's little shots you see that, and there's also really a clever uh, recreation of that cover of like the comic mm -hmm. where he punches out Hitler. That was yeah. pretty awesome. But... Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's uh, it's not much of a spoil spoiler <laughs> saying that. Um... He, he's basically put on a pedestal to show America, like, Captain America, woo, yeah. buy bonds and stuff, and um, it, it was like, it was a really cool moment for me, because Captain America was that in real life, and then the best way to explain it for this movie was to show that Captain America was like that also in the 40s of the comic book world, I guess, so well, it was really it's, cool. It's taking something that was propaganda, and instead making a film about propaganda. Yeah. Yeah, so it was, it was definitely played really well. And I guess the one more thing I wanted to say was that this had one of the the cooler, uh, intimidating villains out of the Marvel movies, I would oh, say. Oh, yeah. Because, oh, yeah. I mean, it's Hego Weaving, so I mean, mm -hmm. he pretty much knows how to do a villain. And uh, he did his thing, and it was pretty awesome. And the makeup was great. Mm -hmm. The only issue I had with it, um, who played the scientist? Uh, Stanley Tucci. Yeah. His um his German accent was a little silly. He was like, I walked down the street and it's like, what is he playing? He was a silly guy. Who is he? I, I, I liked how you couldn't... He was, he was away. I mean, yeah. With, with the Hitler and the marching and the, you know everything. He's like, what is... Who but is he? he? he was what just, is he was, just, he was just so cute. He was yeah. so likable. Yeah, he was. He was awesome. He was a cute little scientist. Yeah. So, um, I guess as a, as a final review, do you guys want to give... um? stars or like order of Marvel movies where you think it falls in between something or um I guess I mean it's good. I mean we don't have to I'm just saying I think I would, everyone I would should agree see with you. it I would say um it falls behind Iron Man mm -hmm. and like in sort of a gray area next to the Hulk maybe I don't know yeah but um around. and in a lot of its personality um of a person going into it because I mean there's a lot of people who really like Thor and there's a lot of people who don't like Thor but um so it's like it's like there's a gray area. I think a lot of people think Iron Man is the best Marvel movie that came out. Although and, the uh, one thing that is superior in Iron Man is the action actually progressively oh, yeah. gets better as opposed to not. Yeah, I thought it was really. I it, it definitely got me excited for the Avengers. The because, final fight was very Inception esque. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and coming off of um, I know it wasn't the last movie that came out, but coming off of Iron Man two with a with a. Not, I don't want to say a bad taste in your mouth, but more of like, a, all right, that was kind of filler to with the Avengers. This was a really strong... And stay to the end of the credits. Yes, yeah, stay. <laughs> it, it, it was long. It was like 20 minutes to wait, but stay. <laughs> worth it. Way worth it. But um, I think this is a... They, I think they're really showing that they can make a good movie um, before the Avengers comes out. So we all have hope. We all have some really good hope that it, the Avengers is going to be awesome. And Yeah, so Captain America, even even though... Some people, like Matt, didn't no, like it as much. Movie, oh, okay. Just don't go in with the wrong perspective. You yeah. really turned and, around from... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. This is a mic in front of you. Really okay, guys, okay, guys. Let me, let me just say really quick. Um, it doesn't matter what. If you've been watching the Marvel movies, go see, the, go see it. Because, I mean, there's absolutely... You yeah, you have to. I mean, it's the Marvel movies, and here, here's Captain America. It's the so, next movie in a, in a series of movies. It's, yeah. It would be like going to Harry Potter... Without like walking all, I mean, you know, it's a it's a <laughs> series. Exactly. All right, so um, that's pretty much our review of Captain America. You guys should go see it. It's pretty great. Is that everything, guys? Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. Oh, like subscribe or something or comment if you want us to watch a movie that's like on Netflix or that we can order from Netflix. Um, or I guess that we can pick up from Blockbuster, I don't really care. If you have a movie you want us to review, which really doesn't make any sense, because if it's like, if you have Netflix, go watch it, you don't really need a review, but...
Let's just mention I'm just Netflix saying, comment. Time. That's all I'm saying in a really sly way. I want comments. Where's and, our check uh, from Netflix? Should we be getting that soon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. By the way, Netflix rocks. You Netflix. can go to netflix.com slash wearepronto, and uh, we, we're, it's a referral program. We're going to make so much money off of it. It doesn't exist, by the way. All right, thanks for watching, guys.